Right, number 217 from the Advanced Higher Maths Camp, this time dealing with large expressions involving indices. First of all, using logarithmic differentiation to try and avoid having to do too much with the indices. And secondly, using the product rule just to see how to factorise expressions with indices in various forms all over the place. Right, first of all, logarithmic differentiation. Really necessary if you've got the variable in the index position, but also useful to try and simplify the process if you've got products and quotients with indices in them. So for part A, first part would be, I'll need to refer to that expression again, so I'm going to give it a name. Let y equal this whole thing. 2x plus 1 to the power of half, x minus 2 to the power of third, all over x plus 2 to the power of a quarter. Then, taking logarithms of both sides, I've got ln y would be product, sum of the logarithms, quotient, difference of the logarithms, a power inside a logarithm can come to the front as a multiplying number, so I've got a half ln 2x plus 1, plus product, add the logarithms, 1 third ln x minus 2, quotient, subtract the logarithms, minus, take the power to the front, a quarter ln x plus 2. Then differentiate it. So that logarithm, the derivative of log is 1 over whatever it's acting on. So 1 over y times the derivative of the inner function, in this case is y, times dy by dx, equals, same again here, 1 over, the 2's underneath already, 1 over the function it's operating on, multiplying by the derivative of the part inside, plus, again, the 3's underneath, over x minus 2, just times 1 this time, leave it alone, 1 over 4 times, x plus 2 comes underneath, the derivative of that expression is just 1, leave it alone. Next part would be, add this lot up. So find a common denominator. I've not left myself an awful lot of room at the top there. I'll try that again. So 2, 3 and 4 are all going to 12. And I'll definitely need a 2x plus 1 for that one to be happy. An x minus 2 for that to divide into. And an x plus, plus 2 so that that's not left out. Then, multiplying all the fractions so they have exactly this denominator. That's got... Well, the 2's cancel out. That's got... I'll need all the 12 because it's only got one on top. It's got the 2x plus 1, so I'll need the other 2. x minus 2, x plus 2. Plus 3, I'll need to do times 4 to give that a 12. It's got the x minus 2. It's not got the 2x plus 1 yet, and it's not got the x plus 2 yet. Minus <coughs> 4. To get a 12 in the denominator, I have to multiply both parts by 3. It's got x plus 2, but I still need to multiply both parts by 2x plus 1 and x minus 2. Now it's just a case of tidying up these three quadratics. You could either multiply them out and then add them up, or you could do factorise a part of it, if that will make it any simpler. Well, I'll factorise a part of it this time, and then when doing the product rule, I'll just do the whole multiply out. So leaving that part alone, I've got... 12 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 plus, then in this part, I could take out the 2x plus 1. So what would that leave? It would leave 4 times that. So that's 4x plus 8 minus, taking out the 2x plus 1, minus 3 times that, which is minus 3x plus 6. All over this denominator. Oh, can I just put ditto? Oh, that's cheating a bit, maybe I shouldn't really be doing that. Then the first part, 12 times that. Well, that's just the difference of two squares. <coughs> so that's going to be x squared minus 4. Plus, I've still got this to tidy up, 2x plus 1 times, that's just going to be x plus 14. All over, I'll be a wee bit lazy and just put ditto, mainly because I haven't got enough room for that. Get rid of that out of the way just now. So what's this when you multiply it all out? I've got 12x squared minus 48 plus this lot, which is going to be 2x squared plus 24 and 1's 29x plus 14. 
all over, ditto, just to save room, I know I'm being naughty there. Tidy that lot up, 14x squared <coughs> plus 29x, and then that will be minus 34. All over, oh, I'll put it all in just now then, that was over 12 times 2x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 2. Now that was 1 over y dy by dx that equaled that. So to get dy by dx its own, I'll take the y across and multiply. Rather than take another line, I'll just take the y across and multiply now. So that'll be times what it was originally, which was 2x plus 1 to the half, x minus 2 to the third, over x plus 2 to the quarter. And then finally tidy that up. <coughs> They can all come down below. So I've got 14x squared plus 29x minus 34 all over 12 times. Then a half above with one below will leave a half below. A third above with one below for the x minus 2 will leave me two thirds below. Oops, to close that bracket. And they're both below, so I'll be x plus 2 to the power 1 and a quarter, 5 upon 4. Right, that's it done by logarithmic differentiation. Now, to clear the board. Right, that's the board cleared. Now, the next part. Doing the same again using the product rule. So the first step will be, I think I'll just write this out as a product. So 2x plus 1 to the power a half times x minus 2 to the power a third times x plus 2 to the power negative a quarter. Now this is going to take a bit of space, hope I've got enough room for this. So differentiating it using the product rule. dy by dx equals, well the first part, for this one, that's going to be differentiate that first. So a half of 2x plus 1, take 1 off the power to the negative half, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is 2, leave the other 2 alone, so it times x minus 2 to the power a third, times x plus 2 to the power negative a quarter. I don't know how far across the board I can go. Maybe I'll stagger it down the way because I don't think I can get much further. Can't get all three in. Then, plus, move on to the second term. Leave the first one alone. 2x plus 1 to the power a half times, for the second one, multiply by the power. Take 1 off the power. Multiply by the inner derivative which is just one, so that leaves it alone, and then leave the other one alone to the negative, whoops, I'm indeed, negative a quarter, plus, now differentiate the third one. So leave the first one alone, power a half, leave the second one alone, whoops, power a third, and then differentiate the third one. So that'll be times negative a quarter times x plus 2 to the negative 5 upon 4 multiplied by the derivative, which is just 1. Now, that should, have, of course, have stretched all the way across here. And it's full of common factors, and it's full of all these awkward different indices. Well, the stage would be this. That's before. There are fractions within it, so I'll take the fractions out. There are obviously common terms in here, but they've got different indices. So I'll take the fractions, I'll take the denominator fractions out. I'll take the biggest denominator fractions out. That will then leave whole number indices for the remaining factorization. The reason being, if I took one off of that to make negative two thirds, then adding two thirds back onto that will make one, and so on. So the worst I've got is, well, they'll cancel out for a start. I've still got quarters and thirds, so I'll need a twelfth. So I'll take out a twelfth. They've all got a 2x plus 1 in it. But the biggest denominator one I've got is negative a half. They've all got an x minus 2 in it. But the worst denominator I've got in that is negative 2 thirds. I don't know if I've got room here. Maybe I should have made this smaller. And for the last one, the x plus 2 term, which they've all got, the worst denominator, is negative 5 upon 4. And then that's going to multiply whatever's left. I'll have to put this in here. I might have to knock it down the way. So, reconstructing the original three terms of the product. Right, for the first one, the two's cancelled out, so I'll need all 12 
if I divide by 12, if I take it a twelfth as a factor, that means whatever's left has to become 12 times bigger. So it's going to be 12. If I take out 2 plus x to the negative a half, that means all of that will go. So I'll just be left with whatever the other things are. So that'll be an x minus 2. But I've got an x minus 2 to the negative 2 thirds here. If I've taken out x minus 2 thirds to negative 2, then everything that's left should be multiplied by x to the 2 thirds, so 2 thirds should be added on, so I'll just be power 1. Similarly with this. If I, div if I take out an x plus 2 to negative 5 fourths, which is like saying I'm dividing by x plus 2 to the 5 fourths, then whatever's left inside should be multiplied by x plus 2 to the 5 fourths. So 5 upon 4 should add on to its power, which puts it back to 1. Next term. Taking out a twelfth, I've got a third there, so that means multiplying by four will give that a four. I've got a two x plus one to the power of half. If I take out two x plus one to the negative a half, then any two x plus one left inside will have to get multiplied by that. That's adding a half onto it. I'll take it up to one. I've taken this one out completely, and similar for the last one. That means I'm going to have x plus two. I'll add on 5.4 which will put it back up to 1 plus for the last one I've got a quarter in it and I've got a negative quarter whoops I'm crazy so that means that'll be a 3 and then same as before I'm going to have a 2x plus 1 because I've got a negative a half out and it's got a positive a half if I take that out as a factor everything inside the same should get multiplied by it so that's a half back on same for the x minus 2, adding the 2 thirds back onto it puts it up to 1, and of course I took the last one out completely. So that's what I've got left for that part. Right, putting that all together, they all go underneath. So underneath I've got the 12, the 2x plus 1 to the half, the x minus 2 to the 2 thirds, and the x plus 2 to the 5 upon 4. And on top, I've got whatever this multiplies out to. Well, that's just the same thing. I've got these three quadratics, so which way will I partially factorise? Well, I just multiply them out the way that they are. So that I've got for the first one, I've got 12 times. I'll just multiply that. It's quite easy. The difference of two squares there. So that's x squared minus 4. Plus 4 times this one here, which is going to be 2x squared. I'm a little bit optimistic there. 2x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 2 minus 3 times multiplying this one out 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 so that's minus 3x and then minus 2 so that's going to give me 2x plus 1 to the half x minus 2 to the 2 upon 3 x plus 2 to the 5 upon 4 then it's just a case of picking out all the different terms. So I've got my 12 plus 8, take away 6, that's 14. I've got minus 48, I'll do the x or the x's next. I've got 20 minus minus plus 9, that's 29x. Then the numbers, constants, minus 48 plus 8 and then plus 6. So it's minus 34. Given the same result as before.